Hi friends, Teacher Bando here. I am so excited to have you with me and my buddy Smudge today. So if you don't know, I'm also a humane educator here at Posado Safe Haven. We have so many animal friends at the sanctuary, but today I'm hanging out with my goat friends. Smudge, would you like to read the story with me? We're gonna read Gracie Goat's Big Bike Race, written by Aaron Mirabella and illustrations by Lisa Horstman. Okay, Smudge, let's get started. Gracie Goat's Big Bike Race. Gracie Goat was playing with her friends in the park. Guess what? Howard Horse announced, I'm gonna be in a big bike race. My, my cousin Helen rides in a professional cycling team. She is racing for the Summer Corn Festival and she said there's gonna be a race for kids too. I get to wear a team jersey. Everyone thought Howard was really lucky and they wanted be, to be in the bike race too. Howard liked that idea. We can be in a cycling team together, he said. Everyone got really excited. Everyone except for Gracie. Gracie Goat didn't know how to ride a bike. Can we all borrow jerseys? Chelsea Chicken asked. I hope so. Then we would look like a real cycling team, said Howard. I could beat your cousin, said Sean Sheep. No way, said Howard. She's fast. She's won races all over the world. Well, I could still beat her, said Sean. He blushed when everyone else laughed. He was bragging. Gracie didn't laugh. She was too upset. If she didn't learn how to ride her bike, she'd be the only one not on the team. She really wanted to be on the team. So she watched a little worm squirm into a hole in the ground and she wished she could crawl in the hole too. Oh, poor Gracie. Should we keep reading Smudge? Here, come back for Smudge over here. There you go, bud. You can join us. Hey, Spacey Gracie, said Howard, waving his hoof in front of her face. Yes or no, he asked. Gracie hadn't even heard the question. Uh, yes, she said quickly. Great, said Howard. I'll ask Helen if we can borrow seven jerseys for the race. Gracie gulped. What had she done? She just signed up for a bike race and she couldn't even ride a bike yet. She started to walk home. Gracie walked in the front door and burst into tears. She got headbutted on the couch. She headbutted the couch. Grandma Goat rushed in to see what was wrong. Between sobs, Gracie told Grandma everything. Grandma hugged Gracie. The race isn't for a few weeks, sweetie. There should be plenty of time to learn how to ride your bike. But Grandma, I'm too scared to learn, whispered Gracie. Grandma gently rocked Gracie and asked why she was so scared to ride her bike. I might fall off and get hurt. I really want to ride my bike with my friends. Well, that settles it. Let's go practice, says Grandma. What do you think, Smudge? Does that sound good? Yeah, okay. Let's keep reading with our buddy Smudge. Gracie picked up Grandma's photo album. She admired the pictures of Grandma flying a plane and climbing a mountain. I bet you're not scared of anything, Grandma. Ah, Grandma smiled shyly and whispered, I am scared of something. What could that possibly be, said Gracie. I'm scared to get my ears pierced, said Grandma. I wish I was brave like you, Grandma said. Gracie shook her head and said, I'm not brave. I'm scared to ride my bike, remember? I'll make you a deal, said Grandma, with a sparkle in her eyes. You learn how to ride your bike, and I'll get my ears pierced, she said. I'll get them pierced with you. It's a deal, said Gracie. Hi, hi, Smudge. Smudge is my buddy. Hi, you want to keep reading? Yeah. Outside, Gracie sat on her bike while Grandma held on to the back. Gracie took a deep breath and started to pedal. Grandma let go. Gracie had barely started moving when she crashed right into a bush. Oop, she said. Over and over, she tried to ride, ride, but every time Grandma let her go, she fell. And each time Gracie fell, she got back up and tried again. She tried to learn from her mistakes, but it wasn't easy. She was making a lot of mistakes. Do you ever make mistakes? I know I do. Smudge, do you ever make mistakes? What about eating this little flower? Do you want to eat a flower? No. Okay, I'll put it behind my ear for you. That'll be, oh, you want to eat my book? 
I see what's going on here. Finally, after all of her practice, it happened. When Grandma let go, Gracie didn't look back and she kept on riding. She started to wobble, first right and then left, but she kept on pedaling and didn't fall over. Here, let's, let's see how, what Smudge thinks of it, right? Look at this, they were pedaling. Grandma, look, I'm riding my bike, yelled Gracie. I did it, I did it. Oh, Gracie practiced every day every day for that race. She loved riding with her friends. She rode to the park with Chelsea, to Bert's bike shop with Sean, and to the pond with Howard. She couldn't wait to race for the summer corn festival with her friends. She was so excited. Wow, she was really brave learning how to ride that bike, huh? On race day, Howard's dad loaded all of the bikes onto his car and drove the kids to the race. Gracie thought the car looked funny with all their bikes on top. The race was downtown. The streets were blocked off for the race and professional cyclists had come from all over to compete. Lots of other kids came to the race too. Helen Horse rode up to Howard and his friends while they were getting their bikes ready. The first thing Sean noticed was her strong legs. Maybe I couldn't beat you in a race, he thought. Actually, he said it out loud. That was good that he said that. I told you so, said Howard. Everybody laughed. Gracie loved Helen's jersey. I had a big K on the front for Helen's team, the Kalamazoo Flyers. She asked if they were gonna wear the same kind as the Kalamazoo Flyers. Yep, you sure do, said Helen, and handed a jersey to each of them. Chelsea Chicken shrieked with delight. What does a chicken sound like, friends? I hear some good sounds over there. I don't want to make my chicken too, chicken sound too loud. I don't want to spook my friend Smudge here. Why are there pockets in the back of the jersey, Peter Pig asked. Well, we keep things in there that we need for the race, like snacks and rain jackets. I'm going to put a pizza in mine, said Peter. Helen laughed. Pizza's too messy, she said. Not for me, said Peter. Peter's a pig. He's so used to the mess, right? OK. Soon, it was race time. Gracie and her friends lined up on the start line. They were excited because they looked like a real cycling team in their jerseys. Gracie snugged up her helmet and gripped her handlebars tightly. The race whistle blew and they were off. Gracie pumped her legs as hard as she could. She couldn't believe it. She was riding in a bike race. Gracie was behind Howard and Dana Duck when Howard suddenly hit a pothole in the road. His water bottle flew out of its holder and landed in the street. Dana swerved to miss it. Dougie Dog ran over the bottle and smashed it flat as a pancake. Yikes! Yelp, doggy, Dougie Dog. Gracie thought Howard could win the race. She was worried that having no water would hurt his chances. So what she did was she sprinted up to him and gave him her water bottle. Here she gasped, take mine. She thought that he could win. She was helping. What good teamwork. That is amazing. Howard said thanks and took a big gulp of water. Smudge, do you like water? I bet you do. They raced down the street and they rounded the corner. Grace, Gracie could see the finish line. Helen and her friends lined the course, cheering them on. This is so much fun, thought Gracie. I love this. And then she even heard Grandma yell, go Gracie, go. Go, Gracie, go. Gracie rode as hard as she could. She went so fast that she thought her wheels would catch on fire. All too soon, the race was over. Gracie didn't win, but she finished in 10th place. She had a great time and she couldn't stop smiling. Howard won the race and Gracie was so proud. Howard's dad took the team out for pizza to celebrate their win. A few weeks later, Grandma and Gracie sat in the earring shop. Happy birthday, said Grandma. Thanks, Grandma. Are your earlobes ready? Gracie asked. I guess. I'm scared it's going to hurt, Grandma said. It might, but think about how nice they'll look, Gracie said. She held Grandma's hoof. Grandma Goat squeezed back so hard that Gracie thought her hoof would break. 
Grandma and Gracie left the shop feeling proud of their new red earrings. That's the end. And then it teaches us all about cycling. Oh, bless you. That was Gracie Goes Big Bike Race. That was so fun. I love that book because it talks about teamwork. It talks about finding something that maybe you feel like you're not gonna be good at. And then you practice and you try and you fail and you try again and you fail and you try again and you get better and better and better. And every time you do it, you get a little bit better than the last time just like Gracie Goat. So, I hope you enjoyed our story. I really enjoyed reading it with you. Did you enjoy it, Smudge? Thank you for joining me. Yeah. Oh, you got an itch on your back? Well, on behalf of myself and Posado Safe Haven and my buddy Smudge, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye, friends. <laughs>